Welcome back to another video, fossil hunting on the Yorkshire coast. I've already found my first find of the day, so let me show you it right now. A double Hildoceros ammonite example. Now this one has gone, but there's a really nice one on the inside of here. So I'm gonna give it a tap on camera and let's see how it opens up. These do usually go pretty well. So there's every chance of a really nice ammonite example from this. Let's go ahead and give it a tap right now. And it appears to have gone really well. So I'm going to pick you up and we're going to look at the split. Oh, beauty. First find of the day and it's an absolute corker. A little bit crushed. But definitely can't moan at that. So I've just picked up this other partial hildy now. Someone's damaged it when they've cracked it open and left it. But I think there could be a nice middle if I just pop this centre out. So let's go ahead and find out. And it's popped. To reveal a lovely middle. Don't always be quick to throw away your damaged rocks. Because they can be salvaged sometimes. A nice section of fossilised wood. Really big pyritic chunk. So I have just found a few really nice Dactyloceros ammonite nodules. Here are some of them that I've picked up. There's about five roughly. And I did also literally just pick up this nodule here. Popped it again to reveal yet another lovely Hildoceros ammonite. Only a small example, but it's a really nice popper with a beautiful middle. I did find something very exciting recently, a beautiful fossilised skull, which is obviously very rare for the Yorkshire coast. I'm going to show that at the very end, so make sure you stick around to see that. So there's a beautiful ammonite keel sticking out of this rock here. I'm going to give it a tap. They're not the best splitters from this particular area. So some of them I do tend to hit just to lighten the load a little bit. It's got a beautiful middle. I think I'll take that one back. It can be cleaned up. So we've got a nice fresh out Perinoceros here. Looks like the middle of this side will definitely be crushed, but always a nice pickup. I like to see the spines of these ammonites. So this should be quite a nice one. It's very worn around the edges, but once it's prepared, it'll be a nice chunky ammonite, possibly a Perinoceros of some type, maybe. It's all there though. So I just spotted this really chunky ammonite right underneath that and rock. I've given it a tap with my hammer because I wasn't sure if it was all there and it's not split perfectly but it's still all underneath the rock. You see the outer keel there so I'm going to get that one prepared back at home. Now this one looks like it'll literally come apart as soon as I put my chisel in that middle point there and give it a tap. It should be a very easy split. So it just took two taps to give it a really nice split by the look of it. Let's find out. It was actually poorly preserved. You can see it's coming away at this side. That's a shame. I really expected that one to have a good split. 
So you don't usually get a nicer pop than that, especially when there's no sign of an ammonite on the inside of them. Perfect Dactyloceros. Needs a bit of water to highlight the detail, but there's no rock pools nearby. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. I've got a bunch of beautiful prepared ammonites available for purchase. I've also got fossilized marine reptile bone. Please take a look if you are interested. I'll ship your orders worldwide. Thank you. So I've just found this beautiful, quite worn around the edge, but really chunky ammonite. I'm assuming it's a catecholoceros species. That's the keel. And you can see how it's actually thicker than my thumb. And it'll be all there. So I'll take this one back and hopefully it preps up really nice. So I've just picked up this ammonite. I could see this very worn little edge here and it's quite awkwardly placed as well. A bit of the back did come off, but it's revealed some beautiful Peronoceros spines or nodes on the side. Hopefully that's focusing in up for you there. I'm gonna take this one back because this bit could just prepare out really easily and I think it'll look quite decent. Even though it's worn on the edge, but with a nice middle, it will be a good little piece. So I've just popped open this really cool looking ammonite. It's obviously very worn on the, the very edge there. So I've tapped it with my chisel and it's popped open to reveal a really nice Peronoceros ammonite. Now I'm not 100% sure, but I think it could be a pathological example because if you look at the middle, the actual ammonite itself appears to be quite bent. I'll post it on one of the forums and I'll see what other people think, but I think that could be a really cool example. Wearing out of the shale bed here are these beautiful golden or pyritized fossil shells. They look absolutely stunning shining in the sunlight today. Here's my hand for a little bit of reference. It's beautiful. If you'd like to see more fossil hunting videos on the Yorkshire coast, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video so far. I'm going to make my way back to the car now. But first I'm going to show you that beautiful crocodile skull that I found very recently. Hi everybody. So I was walking back after a hunt. I always keep my eyes on the floor and I saw this. Once I'd carried it up, I took it straight to the fossil shop in Whitby because it needed immediate stabilisation 
because it was shale so there were some cracks forming already as it dried out and obviously a crocodile skull like this needed very urgent care. So as you can see the backs of the shale and the sides have all been paraloided so no more cracking will occur. Marcus has done a brilliant job at preparing this example. It's a Pelagosaurus crocodile. Very small if you compare it to the other larger crocodile that I found recently this year. It's actually the bottom of the upper section of the skull. So these are the, I think they're the brain cases and then the eyes would have been here. But you can see where the tip of the rostrum once so was. I'm really quite surprised at the actual size of this skull. I actually didn't know they could get this small, but I'm told this isn't even a juvenile or a baby one. It's actually a fully grown one, and they actually got a lot smaller than this. Unfortunately, when they preserved in shale like this, they tend to get broken up really quickly. I reckon one or two more tides, and this beautiful, rare fossil would have been totally destroyed by the sea, especially where I found it, really far out among the rocks on the beach. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this fossil hunting video and I will see you all on the very next one.